Now, unwinding is the body's natural subconscious self-corrective movement. And that's what it is, it's movement, subconscious. We spend most of our movement being deliberate about what we do. Oh, I should do this, I should do that. I'm going to move here. That's conscious movement, that's deliberate movement. Unwinding requires sinking past that, if you will. Um, it means that you allow your body to move in a way that it feels good, it may be big, it may be small, but you're not really putting deliberate thought into it. I showed you before a bigger movement uh, using the neck, the head, upper body, things were moving there. Let me show you again uh, another way that it might show up using a more subtle, smaller distinction just in my head. I'll show you a, a comparison contrast to simply doing something versus sinking and allowing and unwinding. First, doing. And I'm going to use this uh, servo, uh, TMJ compression. There I am simply pressing. There is no sinking in, there was no connecting. It's an obviously obvious to feel difference for those who have felt the difference. I know right now you're wondering, but as you feel it, it's, it's a huge difference. So now let me show you the other where I sink in, connect, and unwind. It might not be big motion, but see if you can spot the difference. I would stay with that for a lot longer and that's kind of the effect you know you're getting into the right spot and it's easy to stay with it if you're having a hard time staying with it oh my gosh three minutes five minutes is so long you're not sinking in and once you start sinking in it's almost a meditative state and it calms it slows it relaxes you you start to drift into a thoughtless space simply feel your body, feel a sensation, feel a motion, a motion, and allow it 